I love this game. Love it. Well, there it is. It's always a delight to play Astro Smash. I absolutely love the soundtrack and the sound effects in this game. I definitely recommend getting the game um, if you have not played it. Um, like I said, I'm very partial and, 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 and in love with the Amico version. Uh, but it's great that there's a way that you guys can all play because not everybody has an Amico. So check it out. It's uh, available on multi-platform right now. Like I said, I was playing the Xbox version. It looks beautiful. Um, you have great HDMI quality, just like the uh, Miko was. But I'm saying, if you love Astro Smash, pick up this game. As far as the game, I already know that's fantastic. But this game's great. Uh, it, but I'm, I'm very glad that BBG did uh, bring this out so people can see how great these re games really are. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just so glad that, that you know... You can see what the fuss was about on all these legendary games, and I love the art style of this game. It's like you're playing a, a like a real life, uh, like a cartoon. But what a beautiful game, right? I am not the game. The game itself, it, it's a beautiful looking game. I like I said, I always love the characters, the the art style. It's like playing a underwater cartoon. Get the game. That's what you got to do. Get the game. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, so all in all, it's still a great game. It's Shark Shark. It's the same game. It's it's a beautiful looking game and a fun to play game. It is absolutely fun. So multiplayer replayability on this game, it's definitely worth the price for sure. Uh, pick it up now on Switch, Xbox, wherever you can get a game, get Shark Shark. It's awesome. Shark Shark and Astro Smash. They are some of the most bare bones video games that you could release in the year 20 and 23. It is striking how, how nothing these products are, how they feel like, uh, you know, game jam games have more depth than some of this stuff. It, it is alarming how little there is to Astro Smash and Shark Shark. The idea that these were going to be games that helped usher in a new platform that you were going to be like, yes, the whole family can enjoy Astro Smash. And then you play it and you're like, this is boring as hell. You know, they look like they look like the early days of Xbox Live Arcade when developers hadn't quite figured it out yet. It feels like some like it, it, this game, th th these games feel like they would show up on Xbox Live Arcade for 800 points and you would buy them and go, boy, these are barely video games. Like this is like, like phone games have more depth and phone games have had more depth for decades. So it, it's really crazy to see these games coming out because I, I think by on their own merits, they're really, they're not fun. It's like something that like, whatever company existed three rungs below pop cap back in the day, would have put out on PC and you would have been like, okay, I don't know. Why would anyone, why would anyone ever play this? It feels like something you got for free off a website by accident. Okay. Oh, you took, you took a classic, uh, you took a very old video game and made the graphics slightly more modern and in the process made it play worse sort of thing that like them charging $15 for it on steam is really nuts. Oh, also, the, these were going to be some of the cornerstone video games of a brand new platform. They're just like, no, they weren't. And there's still, I don't know, there's some guy out there claiming that like he's he's testing a phone app that's that's the oh, the Amico stuff's going to all be on phones and it's going to blow your mind. And it, 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 it's, just, it's a really weird there's some really weird cult that popped up around the Amico of like, it's got like the same, it's, it's got these same whiffs of grift the way that a lot of crypto stuff does. And you're just like, I don't understand why anyone is going so hard on this stuff and trying to present it like it's going to be incredible. Brother, get a grip. What the fuck's wrong with you? But yeah, there's, there's still people out there that are like beating the drum for this like ongoing failure, this, this like rolling ball of failure that has been happening for the past couple of years now. 
you still have like a handful of people that are just like, you'll see, we'll, we'll get some news for you next week. That's going to really turn your, turn your heads around and the future of video games are here. And it, yeah, a lot of it is those same guys that, um, that get wrapped up in that whole thing of like back in my day, all the video games were better. And so were the cartoons and so were this. And so were this. And finally, someone's going to bring back the, they're just going to have fun. Huh? We're just going to have fun with our video games and not have to patch them all the time. Like, all right. Like that's a, you're a nutcase at that point. You're like so divorced from the way the world real world works and the way games are made and shipped and all of that, that like you're, you're not operating in the real world anymore. 